Having Steve Vai's guitar in this book was really important to me. He's a virtuoso on guitar and uh, just to watch him play is just magic in and of itself. Uh, he's a true master and um, I was real happy. I got to pull up to his house here in LA and uh, pulled my gear out and went in and uh, I asked for his number one guitar and they brought out Evo. Uh, and that's uh, a very well-worn and well-known guitar that he's written extensively about. Uh, it's really a, a very personal guitar to him that he's been through thick and thin with and it shows it. Um, and yet it's still in very good condition. Uh, I, I, I read that he was going to retire it perhaps sometime soon. And I haven't seen him play for a while, so I'm not sure if he's still bringing that out on live shows. So it's, it's very cool that it's in this book. You know, Steve owns hundreds of Ibanez Gen guitars. You can go to his website and you see them all out there. He's photographed them on a stand on his grass in his backyard. And he's documented his guitars very well on his own website. And it was just very cool that this was the guitar that he wanted photographed. He, this is the one that he picked out. They only provided one out of his huge collection. And that was the one. So it, it meant something to him. And that means something to me. And I, I hope that the, the image is uh, Pay, pay justice to evoke that that deep connection that he had and has with with that guitar Evo. He had a his you know a bunch of family were, were there. One of his children were, were there hanging out while I was doing the shoot in his living room. And when I left, uh, I noticed there were all these jars of honey. And so I inquired about it. And I guess he makes honey. And my, my family, I grew up with my family making honey, Johnson honey. Uh, it was clover honey up in Canada. My uncle had bees and uh, so I love that connection with him. And then uh, I left and when I left, I kind of had a feeling that he was in the garage. Uh, it looked like that's where his studio was. And they brought the car guitar from that direction. So I think he, he might've been home. So it was good, good vibes and uh, I've seen him. I've seen him play. I, he was at NAMM. He received an award there, uh, and I, I got to be there when he received that award. And it was very cool and very well deserved. And uh, I love the way those pictures came out. It's beautiful.